Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is one of the oldest models from LiPo Cat series from Fujitsu. And today in 2022, I'm going to install Windows 7 on it. This is the old machine, but still working, so let's have some fun with the old machine. And I really love this BIOS because the interface is so easy you know a lot of options here easy to understand I believe you know that should be done even nowadays with the new sort of machine so first of all make sure the power is off and then press the power button again to turn this on and press F2 so as you can see now the BIOS does have many options First of all, we can see Info, System, Advanced, Security, Boot and Exit. So first of all, we're going to get into the system and check if all the drives is recognizable or not. Then, from the Advanced option, we're going to get into USB features and we have to enable the Legacy USB support. Hit Enable and then press Enter. By the way, this keyboard is not working, so I connected a USB external keyboard. So if you do have same issue, you can use any external keyboard. Now let's go to boot option and then from there we're going to get to the bottom option which is called boot device priority. That's the main one. That's the game changer for USB boot. From here there is an option which is quite surprising. That says excluded from boot folder. As you can see it says USB HDD Kingston Data Traveler. That's the one my bootable Windows 7 thumb drive. Because of this is in excluded section even if I try to boot it up, when the system would reboot, it's not going to recognize this USB because that is excluded. Now, to enable it, what are you going to do? I was First, I was very confused. I did not find any button. But if you look right hand side of the screen, it says item specific help. And it tells you right here, if you press the X button, then you can change from exclude section to the boot priority order now let's show you how to do that all right so first uh, make sure you highlighted it and then we're going to press x as you can see now the usb hdd kingston data traveler came into the boot priority list number eight and if i press again the x button is going to come back to exclude it from boot order section so that's how simple it is now from the number 8, if I want to bring it to number 1 as a boot priority, you need to press the plus sign until it goes to number 1. And that's all done. Now we're going to press F10 to save it. And we're going to press enter again. Now the system will reboot from the bootable Windows 7 or 10 thumb drive. If you would like to install 7, same procedure as Windows 10 or whatever. As you can see, it says Windows is loading files. So that's mean that is successful. I'm going to keep recording this video until the end just to see if the boot is successful or not. But I'm going to fast forward this video. So if you need any help or if you have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section.
Here is a little clue. What happened is some machines like this would issue when you select the USB boot is the first priority then even after the setup done when the system get restarted it goes back to the same point I'm going to show you how to resolve it so as you can see after installing the windows is going to restart and is going to go back to the same point okay so if it does happen what you should do it's a funny trick let me show you so as you can see now it goes back to the beginning make sure you cancel it and restart and once you restart take this out and then after the system startup connect it again so in case if it needs any file or anything that can still the BIOS still can get these files and stuff from this USB stick so every single time when it restart take this out and when it turns back on reconnect it until the setup has done as you can see it's restarting again so I'm going to pull this USB out wait for a second yeah and wait to see the light on the screen as soon as I see the light I'm going to reconnect into the same USB port all right when it says starting windows reconnected and that's all that's all it should be done correctly without any error or any sort of interruption So it seems everything is fine, working correctly. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.